up you guys it's your girl angela and welcome back to my chanel i am so excited to be filming today's video because the tables have turned it is no longer me spilling the tea while we start today but instead you guys are going to be sharing your deepest darkest secrets with me i asked you guys on instagram to send me whatever was on your chest weighing heavy on your mind anonymously of course I'm the only person that sees your username because I will not be sharing names, but I will be sharing these crazy confessions. And I did take a peek at them and some of them are wild, like real wild. Shame on you. But before we get into today's video, I have to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Yandy. If you are new to my channel or have never heard of Yandy before, where have you been? Yandy has been around forever. <laughs> but besides that, Yandy is your one-stop shop to everything sexy from underwear to lingerie, loungewear, costumes, especially for the holiday season. And I'm gonna let the pieces do the talking for this one, okay? So let me just show you what I picked up recently. So the first thing I got is this short set. It's made of this really comfy, cozy Sherpa material comes with this cute little crop top and then matching shorts. I'm somebody that has to sleep naked. I cannot sleep with clothes on, but I've fallen asleep a few times wearing this. So that means it's comfy. <laughs> Next up, we have this gorgeous royal blue slip dress. I personally love wearing slip dresses to get ready, like do my makeup and my hair because they're flowy, they're light. Even in winter, I'm not trying to sweat with the heat on with my makeup and my hair, it's, it's a no-go for me. So just throwing something like this on is perfect. Plus it's like really cute to walk around in front of your man while you're getting ready because you know, this is also really sexy. Next up we have this body stocking and I'm not even gonna try to hold it up because it looks like a blob of nothing in my hand. But when I tell you body stockings are my go-to when it comes to spicing things up in the bedroom, I love a good body stocking. So I definitely got a few with this order, but 10 out of 10. Wear a body stocking for your man. And this last set is the perfect combination of cute and sexy and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about the second I hold it up. So without further ado, look at this set. I am dead. This is giving Mrs. Claus. It's giving sit on my lap because I wear the pants in this relationship and it comes with a hat. Like is this not the cutest that you've ever seen? The baby doll dress has underwire cups as well as a clasp in the back. Just so, so cute. I cannot wait to take a holiday photo in this because trust me, you will be seeing it on my Instagram. Click the link in my description box to shop candy. I will also include direct links to everything I showed you here today. But without further ado, let's get into your confessions because I'm nosy and... Sometimes it's nice to be an outsider looking in, so let's get into it. The first confession is, I've been effing my best guy friend and his girlfriend is eight months pregnant. I feel bad in capital letters. Girl, you should feel bad. I am not one to judge anybody on a regular basis, like who am I, because I make mistakes too. However, the whole point of this video is to pass judgment. And I say this with love in my heart, but girl, stop it. I'm gonna be your big sister in this situation or your best friend and say, let that man go because nothing good can come out of this situation. If you feel bad, it's time to stop. I have OCD and one of my new things is spitting. I literally will spit on the carpet all the time. That's nasty, real nasty. Do you make your guests take off their shoes when they enter your home? Cause if you do that, that's just evil. <laughs> and now I will never ever walk into somebody's house without wearing socks. Like I will always bring socks with me. Cause I will never, I will never forget this moment of reading this confession. You have scarred me for life. How much spit have I stepped on in my, uh, <laughs> so nasty. I knocked over my friend's mom's ashes and blamed it on their 13 year old dog. You guys. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting with these confessions, but like. 
I thought I was bad, but you really not only tipped over your friend's mom's ashes, but you had the audacity to blame it on the dog. The dog that didn't do nothing. I don't know who I should feel more sorry for, your friend, because their mom's ashes got spilled, or the dog, because you blamed the dog on it. And like 13 year old dog, I know that dog did not have the energy to knock that over. 13 years old, my goodness, that makes me sad. <laughs> I'm in a committed relationship, but I stay for his daughter. This one is a tough one, and one of the main reasons why I don't date anyone with kids, and it's because when you add kids or baby mamas or anything like that to the equation, dating is already hard enough. When you add that extra stuff to it, it becomes even more difficult. And honestly, I would probably be in your shoes getting attached to my partner's child and then when it's time to break up it's like you're breaking up with them too so i totally get it but at the end of the day you have to make yourself happy so i hope that you know you have the strength to do whatever is right for you it's a shoplift from bloomingdale's heavy in capital letters and never got caught first of all how are you shoplifting from bloomingdale's don't they put those chunky security tags on everything like literally even on their keychains like, how are you stealing from Bloomingdale's? Not that I want to know for my own, you know, use, but I want to know because I know Bloomingdale's with those tags on everything. Like, one time I bought something from Bloomingdale's and I went home and the tag, I guess that's how they do it, huh? But they leave the tag on. You got to have one of those tag machines. I don't know. Let me know. DM me and let me know how you be stealing from Bloomingdale's. I am curious. I stuck with two brothers in the same day, but not the same time. It was two hours after. I love, <laughs> I absolutely love, I love that you wanted to make that clear that it wasn't at the same time. Like it wasn't a threesome, it was like two hours after. Um, you go girl, I'm not mad at it. I mean, do they know at this point? I'm gonna need some follow-ups to these because I mean, that's kind of big D energy, so mm. I'm not mad at it. Everyone thinks I'm living my best life after my BBL, but literally just in big debt alone. I totally feel you on this one. This is definitely a very sensitive, triggering topic for me because I got a BBL that almost killed me and I'm going to talk about that very soon. Um, so I wanna make it clear to all of my followers that just because you want something done or you want something, or it, it could literally be anything, just because you want that thing or that procedure or that guy, or it could literally be anything, doesn't mean that once you get it, you're gonna be happy and that your problems are gonna be fixed because sometimes more problems come along with that. So totally get you. The good thing about money is that you can make that right back. So I'm sending you tons of positive money making vibes to get your coinage up, girl. I still log into my ex-boyfriend's Insta to creep and read his messages even though we broke up two years ago. I don't even feel bad for your ex that you have his info still. Are you okay though? Because I cannot look at my ex's Instagram, Twitter's, nothing like that because I will literally have a heart attack, let alone see messages that he's receiving and sending. Like that would literally kill me. So how are, how are you? How are you, how are you feeling? Because <laughs> I could never, like it literally gives me diarrhea just thinking about it. Me and my husband just lost baby number three and I was seven weeks pregnant. My heart breaks for you and anyone else in this situation, I can't even imagine. And I'm just at a loss for words. Um, I will definitely be praying for you tonight. I'm gonna try not to cry because this stuff gets me so emotional. Um, but you are definitely in my prayers. I had sex with my teacher in high school in his office and still to this day, no one knows. Well, girl, now I know and I'm telling everybody. I have mixed thoughts on this because a part of me is like, that was my fantasy in high school, like sleeping with, we had a really hot gym teacher. I'm like, oh, I would love to sleep with him. But at the same time, it's like when you're in high school, you're most likely underage 
and I feel like some adults take advantage of that. So that's not cool, but if you don't have any regrets to this day, then happy for you. Call the cops on my ex who had his ex over, who had a restraining order on him. What in the mori is going on? And when he asked me if I called the cops, I denied it and blamed my ex best friend. Mom would do the same thing. Deny, deny, deny. Mm. Once you start getting the popo involved, like that's that's gonna start a war. Um, but I would do the same thing. I would be petty like that for sure. There was a point where every guy that I ended things with or it didn't work out, I would send them one of those STD texts. <laughs> like literally you could send anybody an anonymous text saying that that someone that they had messed with had an STD and that they should go get checked. So I guess that's one of my deep dark secrets. <laughs> Every time my boyfriend accused me of cheating, I would respond to a DM and get taken out. Girl, I know that's right. If you're gonna get accused for something over and over and over again and it's not true, you might as well do it. But also like break up with him. <laughs> I got with my ex best friend's man a week after they were over because she snaked me. Totally get that feeling of revenge. However, however, in my own experiences in relationships with like cheating or anything foul that I did at all, it always came back to bite me in the ass, like 10 times harder. So I would be very, very careful. I know that sometimes it's easy to be like, well, she did this or he did that. At the end of the day, two wrongs don't make a right and karma will get you. And I'm gonna tell my deep dark secret right now because if you guys are sharing yours, like I'll share mine. But when I was in my mid twenties, I was dating this pro athlete and from the second we started hanging out we just like hit it off we were together all the time and then i found out a few months in that he had a full-blown girlfriend and at first i was pissed and then i was like i'm not giving him up like i had him first even though i didn't like in my mind like it was just us two for all those months so it's hard to cut something like that off anyway <laughs> when he would travel for away games the team would obviously provide him with a hotel room but he would always get a room down the hall. He would pay for it out of pocket so he can go back and forth to FaceTime his girlfriend and make it look like no one else was there. And that's when I knew he was a really good cheater and why I beat myself up for not knowing that he was cheating the first few months of our relationship. It was just so, so bizarre. And at the time I was like, I don't care. Like that's on him. Like I'm not in a relationship. Like if he wants to do that, if he wants to be sneaky like that, that's on him. But I feel like if you get with somebody and you know that they're with somebody, have a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever the situation may be, I feel like that karma is going to come back and bite you. And it did because I got cheated on later on in life. So I would be careful. A lot of you guys dropped cheating secrets actually like 99 percent of them were about cheating so i would definitely be careful with that because you don't want to get into this karmic cycle of just bad stuff happening because of what you're putting out there just saying just that's just my advice i know no one asked for it but i'm gonna give it anyway but on that note we have reached the end of your deep dark secrets these were really fun to read i'm slightly worried about some of you um but other than that still very fun <laughs> thanks again yandy for sponsoring this video i will see you in the next one bye